Hello everyone. Today in the mail, I received a very nice big box. And as per usual, you'd think it's a toy for me, but guess what? It's not. It's going to be for my fiance. And I was very, very happy to purchase this for her because it is a new sleeping bag. Right now, she does not have a very tight fitting, snug sleeping bag that's going to keep her super duper toasty during our late spring to maybe early autumn time for our backpacking. Uh, where we are and the mountains we go into, most of the time the nights will probably dip down to about minus 3 Celsius, possibly even colder depending on you know which end of the spectrum we're on. During summertime, like the ones you've seen in the past videos with her in it, those nights have gotten down to 0 Celsius to minus 3 easily. Now she's usually in a tent, so that really helps keep things warm too. Regardless, most females will sleep a lot colder than males, so whatever keeps me comfortable at, let's say, mm, 0 Celsius probably would have her a little bit shivering even if it was 5 or even 8 Celsius. So this new bag is from MEC, it's the Raven Minus 7. I'm going to share with you guys unboxing and some of the key things that I look for while I was looking for a sleeping bag for her. Let me just readjust the camera, we'll be right back. Alright, hopefully I won't go off screen here. We're just going to open up the box now. Right, and for the folks who are a little curious, this is my Opinel number 7. It's a nice everyday carry knife for me. And the reason why we have it in a box and not in just a bag alone is because I had to order this from MEC. Our local MEC did not have this in stock. MEC is a really good store. Basically, it's uh, created by a bunch of Canadians who saw REI down in the States. And I'm very happy for them. They have excellent service. We chose to buy from them, so if we have any problems in the future with a sleeping bag, we can easily bring it back there and get it warranted and fixed. So this is how it comes in. Mountain Grim Co-op. Nice cotton bag. I'm hoping a, a stuff sack is in there. Let me just put away the knife. Last thing I want to do is put a tear into it. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. So again, that's the nice cotton bag that comes in for storage. And here's just a stuff bag that comes with it. And of course you can use a compression sack to make it a lot smaller. So, this is a pretty nice bag actually. <laughs> I'm quite happy. Of course we tried out a similar one in store so it fits her quite well. And I know what you guys can't see on the screen, I'll try to show you guys how it looks like. So here's a nice hoodie with the uh, hood collar, or sorry, to, to tighten up around her forehead so it should be nice and warm. This does have the draft collar right here. But it is lacking a drawstring to tighten it around her. But she doesn't like that feeling of being like she's going to be choked or suffocated. So that's why it wasn't a missing option. Um, this bag is very, very short. And so therefore, it will conform to her body quite well. And she doesn't really need it. What I do want to show you guys is that this is a down bag. We opt for a down bag because we can compress it very very small and it will carry and pack a lot smaller what's very important is to see the loft on this and we have anywhere from well that's pretty good anywhere from six and a half to seven maybe even a little over seven so I'm gonna guess about about um, about six and a half inches of loft. This bag is a 575 duck filled sleeping bag, so it's not goose, it's not an 800 plus, and it did not break the piggy bank. It was $120. Can't go wrong with that. She didn't want me to spend too much. <laughs> In the near future, we'll get more. So for those who want in centimeters, that's roughly anywhere from let's say 15 to 17 centimeters of loft, maybe even a little bit more. So, it's definitely gonna keep her warm. Um, it's got a little bit of water repellent on the coating. 
She will not sweat like I do, so there's no issue with the down. And just just compressing in, just watching it cliff back up a little bit. And I also know for those who are curious, I'll put it in. Let's put it in the stuff bag it has here. So again, this bag is rated for minus seven Celsius. I know MEC is very conservative with the numbers. So ideally, I would think it'd be even warmer than that. But again, she's gonna be a cold sleeper. And so I'm purchasing this bag for temperatures that should not dip below minus three Celsius. And that should keep her quite happy. So here's the bag inside the stuff inside that comes with it. Not too bad of a size. And I'm pretty sure if we put it in a compression bag, we can get it down even more. So you can see that size. And for comparison, this is my synthetic bag that I use for really wet backpacking trips. It's rated to anywhere between minus three to three Celsius. So that's your comfort range. In other words, it's a zero Celsius bag. So this down can get a lot smaller than this guy. And it's rated for minus seven Celsius conservatively. Uh, also for the local folks who have the, sorry, that's upside down. The, oh no, it wasn't. The MSC Calvin uh, 3.8. Here it is as a size comparison again. I'm not super compressing it down yet. A one liter nitrogen bottle. Okay. And again, for the locals, here is the minus 12 hybrid sleeping bag that I have for my brother that's compressed down. Actually, it can, it can go down more. So that's a pretty good comparison. And it's pretty light, although I can't really tell you how light. I think it's roughly under three pounds. Yeah, probably about under three pounds. So yes, I think we'll be very happy with using this Raven minus seven for my fiance. And it should keep her nice and warm, right down to minus three. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.